everybody. Welcome to the Moth. This is a story slam. It is a open mic of sorts. The people who have decided that they would like to potentially come up here and tell a story have filled out a form and put it in this bag. We will pick 10 of those out. They are gonna come up here one at a time, tell a five minute true story from their life to deal with our theme, which is firsts. It's kind of the community builder. It's a place where anyone can come and tell a story. There are three teams of judges who will judge your story. How can you possibly judge a story? What are they thinking about? I'll tell you. Does it seem like it's true? Does it have a beginning, middle, and an end? Is it clear what the stakes are? Is it basically in on time? You know, and, and do we care about your personal journey? First person coming up here has to start off the show, so we're just gonna bring them up with like a raucous. Woo! The Moth started in 1997, but the Story Slam started in 2000 in New York. They were the brainchild of a wonderful director at The Moth. Her name is Jennifer Hickson. My first kidnapping. My mom kidnapped me. So that was pretty cool. She was a big, black, beautiful sedan with lots of leather and wood and a big chrome hood ornament, you know, the leaping jaguar cat. The first single lane tunnel in the world. If you lived in Whittier and you wanted to go to the grocery store, you put your car on the train. I think they charged you around 100 bucks. You could do it like two or three times a week. Guys, this already is a fantastic evening. Three off the top has been great. What turned into, I had a baby, she had a baby, she got married, she got married. I'm getting wrinkles, you're getting wrinkles. You know, th those types of things. That was annoying to him, and he always gave me this like, <laughs> okay, like, here's my daughter volunteering to get her arm ripped off yet again. I love documentary film, and I always thought that the moth was very much like the Venn diagram of the two. And when he put his arms up, Walter Hunter was a wall. That was so awesome. Okay, let's get some scores. Fat Thursday, what do you got? 8.6. First ladies, 8.9. Lead dogs, 9.1. How'd you feel uh, after it was all over? Relief that I could get off the stage and just kind of like de-stress again. She did the easier one, the one that would not result in like a felony conviction. So it was good to be able to tell it and it not feel so personal and so I guess uh, like a rock sinking me at times, so it's it good to, to share it in, in, in a funny way. Just having that shared experience, phones off, listening to people's hearts. And I can see their faces just go, what is she doing? But really about the secret worlds of, of sister friends is what I tried to hit, and that was actually the scariest part. And we laughed so hard that we had those sympathetic bladders, and we were a mess, and it's one of our better memories. I believe that stories are really powerful and that they can make change in the world. It also has the power to transform. Do you want the change? And he's like, Gah. he just reaches over and he grabs all the quarters and he's out. And I was like, good choice. Because I just love this car. The more I think about Angie and my grandfather, the more I realize that uh, the way that I loved Angie was the same way that my grandfather loved me. I am not a liar and I'm gonna call my dad even though it's two o'clock in the morning and he already thinks I'm too much. And if you don't talk about it and it hasn't happened, then you just kind of like push it really down deep until it creates like an ulcer. Then you just pop a couple of tums and you're fine. I thought you'd been hit by a bus or that you were in jail or something terrible and all you were was too much. The hardest thing is knowing that everything comes in threes. Thank you. Now we've got moth slams in 27 cities around the world. And he actually texted me pretty much right after my story and was like, how'd it go? And I'm like, Ooh. And he was proud to have a daughter that was too much. Thank you. And I haven't told him yet that I won, so that'll be cool. That was a pretty incredible. That was pretty incredible. We have great storytellers that we have to hear from again. Congratulations. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.